Woo! I am glad week one is over. If you didn't watch our week one NFL prediction video, don't go watch it now because I got destroyed by both the Madden Sims and you guys in the polls. This is week two, though. It's completely different, and I'm looking to regain my lead now that I know what teams actually look like. Let's take a look at the standings after week one. Madden destroyed me and was an extremely impressive 12 and three, beat me on pretty much every head-to-head -head matchup we had. You guys in the polls on Twitter, on this Twitter handle right here, were 11 and four. In our key matchup polls, Madden was five and oh. Five and oh. They won every close matchup, or at least what I deemed would be a close matchup. I was only two and three, and you guys on these YouTube polls right up here, I think, yeah, yeah, right up here, I'm learning. We're three and two. Let's get to our first matchup of the week, Thursday night football, the Houston Texans at the Cincinnati Bengals, two teams that were extremely, extremely, extremely disappointing in week one. I thought for sure the Houston Texans were going to come out and kill the Jaguars. That didn't happen. The Cincinnati Bengals got blown out, shut out, but I'm picking the Cincinnati Bengals here because Houston Texans have a lot of injury concerns, especially concussion concerns coming off of a short week. I don't think they'll be able to rebound. I think the Houston Texans are going 0-2 while the Cincinnati Bengals are going 1-1. Let's take a look at what Madden has to say about it. They'll try to punch it in with Miller. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you probably... Madden is really sure about this 19 points for the Houston Texans. One time it was 19 to 18, the other time 19 to 17. So Madden has the Houston Texans winning no matter who is at quarterback. Next up is the Buffalo Bills at the Carolina Panthers. Both of these teams won in week one, but both of these teams didn't really face the best of opponents in week one. These are tougher matchups for both teams, but that being said, I'm going with the Carolina Panthers. I think they're ready to regain their dominance. This one will be close. Don't get me wrong. I just have Carolina coming out on top. Let's see if Madden agrees with me. Keep him healthy. Hasn't played a full 16 games since 2011. Now Newton on third and goal. He's got it for the Panther touchdown. To me, how this one ended down three. I just... Nope, they have the Buffalo Bills winning 20 to 17. Like I said, this is another toss up. Madden destroyed me on the toss up games last week. Next, we got the Chicago Bears at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Chicago held their own against the Atlanta Falcons, but I think the Chicago Bears, they're gonna lose. I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers now coming off of Hurricane Irma, which devastated Tampa, even though I said this about Houston last week. I think they will come in hot, come in strong. They're off of their bye week. So I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to win this game. Let's see what Madden has to say. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got some type of a miracle there. At the okay, Madden agrees with me. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers 19 to the Bears 12. I'm staying still because my dog is looking at me from outside. I don't want her to start barking. So I'm pretending to be a statue so that, I don't know, she thinks I'm Mrs. Claus. Okay, she left. Our next matchup has to be a key matchup. It is the Minnesota Vikings at the Pittsburgh Steelers. Two teams that I think are going to be powerhouses. Minnesota looked good on national television in week one. I think they will come out on top on the road and beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. Let's see what Madden has to say. Now Ben hit and he lost the football. It's loose and the Vikings pick up the football. He's at the 50, he's at the 30, the 20, 10, and he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Madden agrees with me. Again, they got the Minnesota Vikings winning this game 26 to 13. I think it'll be a good matchup. That's why I'm making it a key matchup. 
make sure to vote, vote, vote up there. All right, here we go. The Arizona Cardinals at the Indianapolis Colts. The Colts are the worst team in the NFL without Andrew Luck. He won't be playing in week two. Yes, the Cardinals lost David Johnson for the year, but pretty much any team, truly any team, could beat an Andrew Luckless Colts. That's why I'm going with the Arizona Cardinals. Let's see if Madden agrees. Here's Ellington. And some room to run now. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> yep, Madden agrees with me. And Arizona Cardinals win 28 to three. It's tough to score points when Andrew Luck isn't on your team and you don't have an offensive line or a formidable running game or a defense. Next up, the New England Patriots at the New Orleans Saints after a debilitating loss for both of these teams on national television. I think the Patriots will come out on top. I don't think they'll start 0-2. It's very unpatriot-like. That being said, it's very Saint-like to start off 0-2. The offensive line, really concerning for the New Orleans Saints. Snap comes at one, and it's Brady. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Four in a row now. Madden agrees with me again. The New England Patriots winning this game 32 to 27. All right, here we go with the next matchup. The Cleveland Browns at the Baltimore Ravens. I have the Baltimore Ravens winning this game. They were extremely impressive against the Cincinnati Bengals. There's no reason to believe they won't be extremely impressive against the Cleveland Browns, both division rivals. Like I said, I think the Browns will be good better than people expect, maybe not good, but at least mediocre. They're definitely going to win a couple games this year. This just isn't going to be the one. Let's see if Madden agrees. Flacco will take to the air again. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Partner was fun down to the very end. They got the points. Ooh, the first big upset of the week. The Cleveland Browns are winning this game, according to Madden, 19 to 17. Is it possible? Yes, they played the Pittsburgh Steelers tough. Are they going to win? I don't know. I can't say no anymore because Madden destroyed me in week one. All right, next game, the Philadelphia Eagles at the Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City looked really impressive to start off the season Thursday night football. Philadelphia Eagles, at the same time, they looked impressive against the Washington Redskins. Yeah, Kansas City's going to win. I think Kansas City's going to win this game, and I think it'll be close, but I think Kansas City is a true competitor for a Super Bowl. Is that a hot take? Alex Smith looked really, really good, and sure, he's Alex Smith, but he threw a deep ball like I've never seen Alex Smith throw a deep ball before. Let's see what Madden has to say. As this is a big spot right here. This to potentially send us to overtime. And this kick is not going to get there. It's short and no good. Where you're playing. You take it and you run. Another disagreement from Madden. They have the Philadelphia Eagles winning 16 to 13. Totally plausible that the Eagles can come out on top. They looked impressive in week one. Here we go. The Tennessee Titans at the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jaguars were really, really impressive and shut up a lot of their haters, including me, in week one. I picked the Tennessee Titans to beat the Oakland Raiders. Uh, it was close for a little while. Oakland ended up coming out on top. I probably should have picked the Raiders, but I didn't. So should I pick Jacksonville this week? Ah, uh, no. I'm picking the Tennessee Titans. I don't think that they'll go 0-2. Madden, take it away. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. That's caught at the three. Madden agrees with me, a 37-3 victory against the Jacksonville Jaguars. I don't think it'll be that much of a blowout, but I do think the Tennessee Titans are going to come out on top. All right, next one, the New York Jets at the Oakland Raiders. This one has to be the easiest matchup of the week, right? Right? I mean, the Oakland Raiders were great against the Tennessee Titans. The Jets weren't as bad as we expected them to be against the Buffalo Bills, but still. The Oakland Raiders are one of the best teams in the NFL I think they are going to manhandle.
the Jets, and I bet you Madden agrees. Five at the six. They're able to convert on third down and that's together and get it. Okay, well, I'll lose that bet. They think the Jets are going to win this game. This is one that I'll bring out the head scratcher for. Oh, I, I don't think I'll ever get over this. They have the Jets winning 24 to three. And I'm not even mad about it because I got this thing. Next game, here we go. The Miami Dolphins at the Los Angeles Chargers. You guys know I'm a Dolphins fan and you already know that I'm picking the Dolphins this week. They come off of week one by, like I said, with the Buccaneers, we don't really know what that's going to turn into, but they've been practicing in California all week. The Chargers come off a heartbreaking late Monday night game loss. Let's see if Madden agrees. Color to throw again. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Nope, they don't agree, but they think it'll be a close high scoring game. 34 to 26. Okay. Oh, the Dallas Cowboys at the Denver Broncos. The Broncos barely slipped away with a victory on Monday Night Football, while the Cowboys easily beat the Giants on Sunday Night Football. That's why I got to give the Dallas Cowboys the win, especially since Zeke will be playing all season. They look really, really tough to beat, and their defense looked really, really good. Uh, they are playing, I guess, a tougher defense in the Broncos, uh, but I don't think that that'll be enough for the Broncos to stop the Cowboys. Madden? Throwing again is Simeon. Able to shake him off. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Oh, and here it is. Another chance for me to close in on that lead. Madden picking the Denver Broncos. I think Madden's going to lose this the San Francisco 49ers at the Seattle Seahawks. I knew Seattle was going to come off slow. They always do. But that being said, they're not going to come off slow enough in week two to lose to the 49ers. I think the Seattle Seahawks are going to be one and one. The 49ers are going to dip down to 0 and 2. Madden? Here's Hoyer. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. No matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting... Yep, Madden agrees with me. The Seattle Seahawks will win this game 30-7, at least according to Madden. Next game! The Washington Redskins at the Los Angeles Rams. The Rams looked impressive. Yes, it was against the Colts. And yes, they didn't really have much of a home field advantage, to say the least. But yeah, sure. Let's pick the Rams. Jared Goff looked good. He looked like a number one overall pick in his second year. Maybe the Rams will be good this year. I don't think the Redskins will be bad this year. But sure, let's pick the Rams. Madden, are you going to pick the Rams? They're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. And that is incomplete. Aim that sort of deal. That's right up there. Yep, they do. Okay, okay. The Los Angeles Rams will win 33-23, according to Madden. Now for the night games, we have Green Bay at Atlanta. Sunday night football. I think the Green Bay Packers started off pretty slow against the Seattle Seahawks, but I think they'll rebound. I think that they're going to win this game, especially with how Atlanta performed against the Chicago Bears. It was a, it was a little bit worrisome. Much better opponent in the Packers this week. Pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Jordy Nelson from eight yards out. Yep, they agree with me. The Green Bay Packers winning in a shootout. A very close game, which I agree will come down to the last play. Green Bay 26, Atlanta 25. Monday night football now. Here we go. The Detroit Lions at the New York Giants. The Giants look terrible on national television in week one. I can't expect them to win now. I can, until they show me something more, especially without Odell or a hurt Odell. 
I can't expect them to win. That's why I'm picking the Detroit Lions. The Detroit Lions are great against teams without a winning record. The Giants don't have a winning record right now. The Detroit Lions and Kenny Galladay, <laughs> the new star of the NFL, are going to win this game. Madden? Manning now on third and goal. And almost intercepted. Would have been a huge pick in the end zone, but ended no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. Madden agrees with me again, the Detroit Lions, 27 to 21. What do you think about all of these matchups? Let's run through the key matchups. I think I forgot to talk about a couple of them. We have Minnesota at Pittsburgh. We have New England at New Orleans. We have Miami at the Chargers, Dallas at Denver, and the Green Bay Packers at the Atlanta Falcons. Those are all going to be polls right up here so that you guys can vote. We'll be keeping your record all year long. Uh, the other games could all be voted on right here. Polls right here. You can vote right now for the rest of the games. Those records will also be kept. Uh, I, hope, I hope I'm not in last place all year long. Until next time, I'm Mike Cantalupo. Thanks for watching.